Hello everybody, welcome to my jewelry channel, Monique's Jewels. How is everyone on this kind of icky, dreary Sunday afternoon? Um, this will probably upload around 7, and um, I'm doing it a little bit ahead of time here. And if you're liking my content, my videos, I would love a thumbs up, which helps to spread us the al algorithm to um, other people that... You probably would not even um, find my video in all the different genres that um, you can look up. When you look up f to find something as far as jewelry goes, can you imagine the different titles and the different phrases that people put in? So yeah, that um, just definitely helps to bring more people to my channel. So what I've got today I've got kind of a mixture of things that I've had, um, all costume, all super wearable, and I got a lot from Triple J and Crafts, and I'm going to kind of incorporate them together. I won't necessarily say who's what or where it came from or anything, but we'll just go from there, and I have some pieces that haven't sold that I know you guys have seen a couple times, but I still, you know, Christmas is coming. And I'll get this stuff out. I'll probably invoice tonight or tomorrow and ship out tomorrow afternoon. Um, so these things will get there long before Christmas. And um, the Sterling video that I had last night, um, or the couple nights ago, I still have a lot of that. So if you're interested in anything, let me know. And uh, we'll go ahead and get started. And this is what I got from Triple J and Crafts, this big bag here, chock full of goodies. And then I have this box here of my goodies. And, um, oh, I, I got me another Christmas tree pin. Isn't that beautiful? For me to wear tomorrow to school. So I'm thrilled there. And, um, yeah, and we went to see Santa yesterday. That's... That'll be the first picture that you saw just before this video started. And King did very well. He was kind of overwhelmed in the um, Big Sullivan's hardware store when we were eating and kind of looking around. He honed in on the toys, the cars and trucks, to be exact. And we, had, we had a hard time pulling him away from those toys, but once he saw the train, we rode a train all around. And um, it's on the outside of the huge hardware store. And he got to see Santa. So the first picture is him kind of ignoring Santa. But he still, he did very well. So, let's go ahead and get started here. That's my tale from this weekend. So we're all kind of tired. First thing I have here is Tracy, what is that, Tracy Lynn? And these earrings are just costume, but they're very cute. This front piece here, this piece, this short dangle will go in front, and this will go in the back. And we'll put $3 on those. And they have a lisp mark of 21. They're called pinpoint earrings. That's pretty. Very nice. Okay, next. We have this beauty. Look at that. This says $29.99, made in India, right there. This is absolutely gorgeous. It's brand new looking. So look how gorgeous that's going to be. It's got bugle beads lined in there. Very silvery white bugle beads. So this is um, pretty big. Um, let me measure it. And it's a clamper, so it'd be very easy to get on. This is about a two and a half, maybe a little smaller. I would say this will go up to at least a seven, seven and a half. Let's put it on the cone, yeah. Seven, seven and a half. Seven and three quarters, yeah. So I'm gonna put 10 on this just cause it's brand new. And it is gorgeous. It looks like Christmas. Isn't that pretty? Very nice. You know it's new if that tag is still in there. 
Okay, let's grab a necklace. Okay. Alrighty, we have a J. Crew here. J. Crew. It has the beautiful um, Senorita clasp or the inner tube clasp here. Look at that beautiful extender. Okay, this has like the dot dash, almost like um, very, very pretty. Kind of a, looks like a jasper stone. I do believe it's stone. Let's look at the back. And it's, of course, gold tone and these beautiful triangles. I'll show it to you like this. Put it on here so you can see it really well. Isn't that pretty? I'll pull it down a little bit here. Yeah, that is just gorgeous. Isn't that cool? So this J. Crew is approximately it, up. it is right at 15 inches, and then we have the over two inch extender. Yeah. So this is anywhere between 15 and 17 inches and it is brand new condition. So I'll put seven on that. That's the back. Very nice. Very different for a J. Crew to me anyway. Maybe not to you guys, but it's very pretty. Okay, from Purple Studios, we have this artisan made Pendant is glass. It's very cute. This is just darling. Just kind of a little abstract pendant. Don't have a price on it or anything, but it says Purple Studios by Renee Williams. And her website is www.purplestudio.net. Hmm. This, I think, can be um, just wiped off with a cloth. Um, we'll put three on that. Next, we have a stretchy ring. It looks brand new, guys. Isn't that pretty? Fancy. All the little stones are there. Like I said, it looks brand new. I'll give you a measurement on this real quick. I'm stretching a little bit, but it is going to about right at an eight. And I think it could go, yeah, it could go to a nine. So right at an eight. And I think it could even, let's see, that'd be a little loose, but about a seven and a half, maybe seven and a quarter, seven and a half to a nine. Let's see. That finger I have here is a nine. Yeah, that's nice. So we'll put, let's put three on that one. Very cool. Now I have a pendant here. That is Mardi Gras. Just beautiful um, hand blown glass with the gold frosted in there and the black. A little bit of green with the red. So this is kind of Christmassy colors. Very nice bail on it. Very pretty. So I will put six on this. And it is, get away, approximately three inches total. Yeah, this, this would look good on a, a black cord. Some cording. Black or even red. Very nice. Isn't that pretty? It's kind of got the um, ridging in there. Feels good. Show you the side. Yeah, there you can see it. So I think we'll put seven on this one. Just because it's so unusual and pretty. Okay, look at these. These look like ornaments. Charlotte Russ. Or Roos. I'm not sure how she, I think it's Russe, R-U-S-S-E. These are gorgeous. 
These were $6.99. They are brand new on the card. Like I said, these will look pretty on a Christmas tree. Isn't that funny? Or in somebody's ears for New Year's. So these are these are big. These are approximately right at four inches, a little over. Um, it's that uh, almost like rose gold pink color. Iridescent AB crystals. All the crystals are there. So we'll do four on these. These are neat. Very, very nice. Okay. Let's grab another necklace here. I think I have another very pretty necklace. Um, who is this? Look at this toggle. And that look at the crystals. Isn't that cool? This is oh, this is Ann Taylor. Ann Taylor with the little crystal on it. So it's a toggle. Sorry about that. It is a toggle necklace with a beautiful chain. There's no wear on this. And Taylor. Let me get it straight here. Beautiful green. Almost almost an opalescent looking green. Or an opal light or whatever. There's that. And the beautiful toggle. Then, on some of these, like every other one of these big ones, these three, one, two, three, have crystals all around. I mean, this thing is really spectacular. You see that? And then even on this little one here, and that one. Yes, it is just gorgeous. So this one is approximately, this looks like Christmas too. This is right at almost 16 inches and um, yeah, just a shy of 16 for right here. So that would be probably closer to 18 at the bottom. And pull it up a little bit. That is just too pretty. So for this Ann Taylor, I'm up at seven. Yeah, this thing looks brand new. It's very pretty. Let's set it up here. Out of the way a little bit. There we go. Next, let's do... Oh, I see three. Okay, these say JK by 31. Okay, we've got a pretty... Come on, go down. Oh, it's stuck. There it is. And that one's stuck, too. Well, no, that's supposed to be there. So we have this JK by 31. Got crystals. These are pretty. This looks very nice. It says, Inspire, Reward, Encourage. So I don't know if maybe this is something that the people that sell 31 get. I just, I'm not familiar. It is two and three quarters, so it's wide. It's a wider one. And so we'll put four on that one. But I love these charms. They're very pretty. Four on that one. Then we have, um, ooh, this is cute. I don't see a mark on this one. This is the true kind of uh, pull-apart one here. And you have two shells and this beautiful turquoise colored little cabochon there. So we have that one. And it's a little over two and a half. And then we have this one. Oh, that's pretty. And it's an expandable also. And look at that. You have an elephant. And those little mosaic colors, I mean, mosaic pendants or charms. And those little beads hanging down. And this is definitely a stretch on. And this one is also a little over two and a half wide. 
So I'll do four a piece. Four for that one and four for that one. Those are darling. Those are too cute. Love them. Okay, let me grab something out of mine. Oh, okay. This is... I don't know what that was that just fell. This is New York and Company. I don't think there's a price on that, is there? Nope. Hmm. Yeah, there is. $22.95. This I kept. I didn't put it in a lot or anything because I thought it was so unusual. I just like the style of it. It's very nice silver tone. This comes down like this. We've got a little dangle here. A little kind of disco ball. This is that real pretty taupe color, almost tan and black. Then we have just the center piece here, two different cha two chains here, a little different, um, and the disco ball here, so it kind of evens itself out. We've got these beauties here. This is very nice. Let's see if I can get it on here. This thing is so lightweight. Let's see if I can do it. Let me just get back behind there. I need my bigger ones, don't I? Yeah. But it's just to show kind of how it lays. It's really pretty. There we go. It's a little wider than that. It's very nice. So we will put... Let's see here. If I can grab some. Oh. This thing is not the cleanest, but hey, it'll work. It has a few little um, doodads on it. There we go. So that's how it's going to lay on your neck. And we have the beautiful piece up through there. So we'll put seven on this one also. It's hard to show you when you've got four or five strands and it just is not picking up. Okay, let's see. What should I do next? You guys want to look at the, um, oh, what do you call it? Brighten. Let's do this brighten again because I think you guys are missing out on a really nice gift here. And this is the brighten pendant. It is absolutely gorgeous. I put these triprong tri beauties, little CZ earrings to go with it. I'll show you the actual part of the. This is just so well made. Look at this. Isn't that gorgeous? And then we've got the Brighton B. I'll put it on here. It's, I mean, it looks like sterling. I think everything, most things they make, I do believe are sterling plated, but this is gorgeous. And then the back of it is so cool. Isn't that nice? Very, very pretty. So for the Brighton, I think I had like 28 on it. I think that's what, hold on. 16, and it can go up to 20 inches. It's 16. Right now, I had 28 on this, not even counting the earrings, but I think we will do, let's do 20 on it today. I just think it'd be such a pretty little um, stocking stuffer for someone. Let's get it back together here. I just love it. It's very pretty. I wouldn't mind seeing that in my stocking. Isn't that precious? So we'll put 20 on that. And the earrings are beautiful. Okay, we are at... Yes, we're doing very well on time. I have Sarah Coventry that I dearly love. I'll show you the actual bottom piece here where it says... S. Cub. Right there. This is just beautiful. Isn't that pretty? 
And look, it's got like the S's there. Faux turquoise. Beautiful chain. Very, very nice. I'll put it on here and just kind of hold the back part. Isn't that pretty? Very nice. Okay, so we'll put, let's put seven on this. Definitely vintage and very pretty. Okay. I have a bracelet here. It is leather. I do not see a maker's mark, but it's very cool. It's got the little um, hanger here, almost like a door knocker, and the little grommets. And then here on the back, this comes off here. Oops, and it pulls like that. Like I said, I don't see a maker mark, but it is just as cute as it can be. And it would go to approximately, let's see, with the smallest, it would be about a six and a quarter. And then at the biggest, it would be about a seven. So this is a pretty orangey shred. And it doesn't have to flip because this goes right there, okay? And it is just too cute. So we'll put five on that, and it is pebble leather. It smells like leather. Okay. Next, we've got a JJ pen. It is most likely for a math teacher or just a teacher because you have the apple a calculator, a ruler, a pen. It does have a little scratching there, not much. And it is JJ, and it is just too cute. And we'll do this for six. I'd probably do it for 10 if it wasn't for that little scratch mark, but you can't really tell. Isn't that pretty? Very, very cute. Okay, we've got a very small monet. Let's see. Not easy to see. Yes, it's a Monet. There's definitely a Monet right there. And it is a smaller one, but it is cute as a button. I don't want to put it on that one. I know it'll go over here. It is probably a small size, but it's really pretty. It's black and gold. Let me measure its width here. It is just under two and a half, but it's a smaller one. And it is approximately, probably about an eight. As I'll show you here. I can get it on. Let's see, it's bigger through here, but it's all about getting it over your hand. Okay, so we'll put four dollars on that just because it is a bit smaller. Okay, next. Put this up. I have shown these earrings before. These are absolutely gorgeous. These are supposedly onyx. That you can actually Google these with the picture and find these. They have the little crystal there, and they don't have a maker's mark, but it has that beautiful tassel that I just love, very finished. And these are supposed to be something, but I don't think they are. I think they're just man made little cabochons. They don't. They look like little uh, onyx or something, but I don't think so. But these are darling. Very, very pretty. And I will measure them. And they are right at two and a half. But these are spectacular with that frosted gold. And these um, tassels are just to die for. They're so cute. So I'm going to put five on these. And they have the original backs, I do believe. I didn't put any backs on them. Okay, let's pull out something from the deep. Okay, 
Oops. Pull this over here. Okay. I have a. What is this? This is. I don't know if I know that one. Let me check it. This is. M and S. M and S. I'm not sure. But this is kind of an organic looking beauty. We have some real, I think those are real. Let me test them. Hold on here. They're cold. I cannot tell. They're not super heavy. But the metal work on this is so cool. We had the um, kind of the disco faceted um, yellowish gold. Then we have a clear here. And then you have this industrial look. We have a gold and silver tone, which are the gold tone's not the best in the world, but it just makes it have character. You got the little grommets on the edge, little clear beads. Very industrial looking. I love it. Then you've got this gorgeous, heavy, um, heavy looking. It's not really heavy. Um, box chain. Very nice. M and S. Hmm. And I will shorten it and give you a length here. It is 16 inches. And then you have a three inch extender. I think that's cool. So I'm not sure. I think these are real stones. They're very cold. So this is very, very cool. So I'll put it on this so you can see how neat it is. Isn't that nice? Now that is different. Okay, we'll put six on that. Only because it has just a little bit of, and look, it just folds over so nice. Um, just because it has a little bit of wear on that gold tone. Okay. Okay, we have some beauties here. These are so pretty. I don't see a maker mark. But look at these. These are that faux, like faux opal. Aren't those pretty? There we go. I'll lay this one here. It just kind of is um, eye-catching, to say the least. Very pretty design here. All the little crystals are there that I can see. We are at two and a, two and a quarter inches, not too long. These have almost like a peacock color combination here. And I'm going to put five on these. These are gorgeous. Very nice. They have backs on them, and I think they're the originals. Very pretty. Put that to the side. Okay, we have a very nice Kind of a woven bugle bead bracelet here with the orange and the browns. Very nice. It's not, you know, crunched up like some of them get to be. It's very pretty. Okay, we'll put three on that one. Love it. And it's big, so it should fit about anybody, I would say. Yeah, you got enough room in there. Let's see. Very pretty. Okay, so I'll pull something else out of here and then we'll go to another, the other bag. We have a wrap bracelet, which I always like. Gold tone, little gold tone nuggets. And the brown leather. It smells like leather. I keep twisting it here. Just because it's been twisted up in the bag, it's nothing wrong with it. Okay, let's unbutton it. 
Okay. So, let me show it to you close up. And I'll start wrapping it. And this is like, anybody can wear this because they just wrap it to where they need it. And I'll show you here in just a second. Two. And see how that wraps? And then it would contact right there and you would button it. Flip that down. Very pretty. So this would fit, because I'm a six and a quarter, so this is going to fit six and three quarters to an eight probably, because we have one that goes all the way to here. Okay. So this is very pretty, and I'll put five on the wrap. Very nice. Next, we have a bangle here. It's pretty. Look, it's got the little... Um, like the Cartier mark. <laughs> Let's see what it says. Does it say anything? Let's see. I don't see anything. It's just pretty. And it's an oval-shaped clamper. It's oval-shaped. It's very pretty. Very, very nice. So it is about two and a... Almost a half across. So this would probably fit up to about a seven, seven and a quarter. It's pretty. Not too much um, scuffing on it, to say the least. Not very much. Very pretty. So I'll put four on that one. Very nice. Okay. Uh, we've got another ring. Oh, it's so pretty. Look at that. It's a stretcher. So we've got another one that's about a nine to probably at least a seven. Six and a half to a seven. Look at that. That thing is brand new. I think we will put four on it. Isn't that cool? Love it. And it's like yeah, it's gorgeous. I think it'd be pretty as a brooch. I thought it was a pin when I first pulled it out just now. Okay, this one is a medium. And it is a Leah Sophia. So we've got Leah Sophia, and they always mark theirs, most likely. And that's a medium for with the M. Very pretty. Silver tone with these gorgeous little, almost a uh, teal color. Very easy to get on. This would fit probably seven and a half to eight. Very cute. And it's over two and a half inches at the center point. Two and three quarters probably. Very easy for me to get it on. Very nice. A little big for me. So we'll put four on that because it's like brand new. Gorgeous. Oh, I love these earrings. Do I have the other one? Tell me I do, tell me I do. Um, hold on here. I know I do, or they wouldn't be in there. Yes, I do. These are absolutely just gorgeous. I'm sorry, my phone is just having a fit. These are so pretty. It's like three little dangles and a gold. Oh, aren't those pretty? Okay, those are nice. Let's see. Check my phone real quick. Make sure it's not an emergency. No. We're good. Um, these are gorgeous. Liz Claiborne, that's the back. These are little clip-ons, but you know what? These will fit your pierced ears because all you have to do is put a little post earring in, like a flat post or a little round ball, a very small one, maybe a little um, faux diamond, and clip this over it. 
and they won't come off. I love these. Aren't those cute? I don't know what it says. But these are spectacular. Maybe not so much until you see them in person, but they are so cute. They're about two inches. So I'm gonna put five on these just because I like them so much. This little stem down through here is gold and these are silver. And I just like the mixed tones. These are very well made. And they're like the Omega back. They just don't have a post, but you can still wear them. All right, beautiful. How many notes are we in? 35? I'm going to do a little bit more because we can just continue on and on with this for the next couple of days if you guys don't mind because these are some very pretty pieces. Okay, this is, believe it or not, this is a premier design. And this thing looks like it's brand spanking new and we know it's not. And we have the little circles entwined. That little circle there. And it's just, I don't know. It's just very, very pretty. The actual coloring, it's, um, oh, what do you call it? It is asymmetrical and it's almost graduated. Do you know what I mean? You've got the gold, almost a hammered gold tone here and here. And look at this one. This thing is gorgeous. Then we've got a circle within a circle here. Then we've got the circles one on top of the other. And then we have a single circle. And then we have the double. And then we have a circle within a circle. I, do, I don't know. I just think it's spectacular. And you've got a double chain there, which is so cool. And a double chain there. It's very artistic looking. So it would lay on you. That's how it would lay. Just like this. Just like that. And it's long. And then it'd come up here. Just beautiful. And it goes down on either side. Just like that. Isn't that pretty? And that's that side. But it's so shiny. It's just so shiny. And beautiful. So we'll put seven on this one. And I'm going to give you a measurement. It's nice and long. It is 12. 30. It's about 34 inches total. So like I said, it is a gorgeous silver tone. It's spectacular. Premier Design, $7. You can't beat it. It's a beauty. Put that over to the side. We're going to do two more, and then we're going to be done. Oh, these earrings are so sweet. I think I've got them upside down. Turn over. These have little silicone backs. These are so sweet. These are Lucite acrylic, whatever you want to call them, and they have the white etched design. Just too cute. To me, they look like the fall and the winter. The first snow, these are just too cute. A little bead there, a little wooden bead, or yeah, it looks like a wooden bead. And they, these little beads have little, like little windows. And I'm gonna put four on these. And they are approximately two and a half inches, okay? Beautiful. Let's see, what else was I gonna show? I haven't shown these in a while. These are so stinking cute. These have the French hook in the back. So you don't lose them. This is kind of a, some type of a, more of a organic material here. I'm not quite sure. They feel like little seed beads, like stone seed beads. 
but they are so sweet. The little um, sand dollars are so nice. So I'm going to put four on these just because they're special. They are right at two and a quarter inches. And the gold is very nice and flashy and pretty. Very nice. Okay, are we at 40? Yes. I'm going to go ahead and stop there. I have quite a bit left. Quite a bit left. I have a more than half a bag over here. We can find half a bag of this. And we have quite a bit of this left. I still got all of that. And I can either work on these tomorrow or Tuesday, depending on what my um, day is like tomorrow at school. And um, I have some earrings here, probably $3 earrings, some very, very cute ones, a few rings down here, costume, soft costume, but very pretty. And I can work on those Tuesday or Wednesday. And um, of course, I've got other things. And I'll get some more things coming in. So let me get off of here. Did you guys a good week? at work or at home, and um, like I said, we're working towards the 850, we're getting there, we're getting very close, so give me a shout out, um, if you could share this video with somebody that you think loves jewelry, um, I'm trying to get some of my Facebook friends to subscribe, I've gotten a couple, and a couple shares, but not very many, I don't know why, but you know, it is what it is. I have um, been trying for a couple of years and I don't have a lot of interest as far as Facebook goes, which is very, very strange. But that's all right. Um, let's go ahead and um, say a little prayer for everyone that's not feeling well. I have some friends with COVID right now. I don't want it. It was horrible. And um, I have some friends that are just down um, with a kind of serious illness and I want to say a little prayer for them and God bless them um, specifically and um, we'll get off of here I want you guys to stay well and stay blessed and King says Mwah. and um, my daughter also is very appreciative of everyone that I have met on this channel because it's like friendships for me so we will talk to you guys real soon, and I thank you so much for watching. And don't forget, we'll have a giveaway here very, very soon. All right, guys, talk to you later.